new fossils are challenging ideas that, modern humans wiped out Neanderthals soon after arriving from Africa. A discovery of a child's tooth and stone tools in a cave in southern France, suggests Homo sapiens was in Western Europe about 54,000 years ago. That is several thousands of years earlier than previously thought, indicating that the two species could have coexisted for long periods. The research has been published in the journal Science Advances. The finds were discovered in a cave, known as Grot Mandarin in the Rhone Valley, by a team led by Professor Ludovic Slimak of the University of Toulouse. He was astonished when he learned that they were evidence of an early modern human settlement. The Neanderthals emerged in Europe as far back as 400,000 years ago. The current theory suggests that they went extinct about 40,000 years ago, not long after Homo sapiens arrived on the continent from Africa. But the new discovery suggests that our species arrived much earlier and, that the two species could have coexisted in Europe for more than, 10,000 years before the Neanderthals went extinct. According to Professor Chris Stringer, of the Natural History Museum in London, this challenges the current view, which is that our species quickly overwhelmed the Neanderthals. Archaeologists found fossil evidence from several layers at the site. The lower they dug, the further back in time they were able to see. The lowest layer showed the remains of Neanderthals who occupied the area for about 20,000 years. But to their complete surprise, the team found a modern human child's tooth in a layer dating back to about 54,000 years ago, along with some stone tools made in a way that was not associated with Neanderthals. The evidence suggests that this early group of humans lived at the site for a relatively brief period, of perhaps about 2,000 years after which the site was unoccupied. The Neanderthals then return, occupying the site for several more thousand years, until modern humans come back about 44,000 years ago. Another key finding was the association of the stone tools found in the same layer, as the child's tooth with modern humans. Tools made in the same way had been found, in a few other sites in the Rhone Valley and also in Lebanon, but up until now scientists were not certain which species of humans made them. Some of the researchers speculate that some of the smaller tools might be arrowheads. If confirmed, that would be quite a discovery, an early group of modern humans using the advanced weaponry of bows and arrows, which may have been how the group initially, overcame the Neanderthals 54,000 years ago. But if that were the case, it was a temporary advantage, because the Neanderthals came back, 